Hey everyone, Sawmill Charlie. Well, it's been six days since we vaporized these hides with oxalic acid. Today I want to pull the coroplast boards out from underneath the screen bottom boards and check the mite drops and see how much of an infestation of varroa mites that we have. Now this isn't the way to check the percentage of your varroa mites as in using a alcohol mite wash. I just do this because of the weather. It's uh, too cold to open the hives up anymore. This kind of just gives me a basic idea of where I'm at with my varroa mite infestation. So we want to go ahead and do that now. So let's go ahead. I'm going to pull one out of the hive right now. And here is one of the first hives. And I can see by the droppings that the bees and the cluster is towards the front of the box, which makes sense. The sun comes up and warms the front of the box pretty much most of the day here in the winter time. And I can also see that the majority of the cluster is on the three frames that are in the middle of the hive. Of course, these are five frame nuke boxes. And um, on this one here, I'm counting about five mites that I can see at this time. Let's go ahead and grab another one here. Here's the second one here. And the same thing, the cluster is more on the middle three frames and quite a good distance of dropping. So that means I have a pretty good sized cluster on those three frames. And I'm seeing about uh, 10 to 15 mites droppings, which is not really that bad. I mean, if I was seeing, let's say, 50 mites or more, then I would be quite concerned. But anything, I'll say 25 to 30 mites, I'm not quite concerned. I think that, you know, that's... A good number as far as infestation goes anything over 50 I would be concerned and I would try to do more oxalic acid vaporization treatments in order to correct that problem so let's go on down the line here and check out some more of the hives all right here's another coroplast board it's definitely I'm not sure if you can see that they are on the three middle frames due to the uncappings that drop off the frames and I see some bee leg and some wings and uh, I only see about maybe 10 mites at the most they could be buried amongst these cappings but I don't really see any more they do usually stand out because they're red and they're fairly big as far as the size go Here's another one here, same thing, they're in the middle, three frames, and I am seeing one, two, three, there's about ten mite droppings here, which is uh, very good actually I find, it's, it looks like our mite treatments that we did in August and through September into October is working well and of course the oxalic acid kind of reconfirms that and also gets rid of mites throughout the winter time. This hive here it's got uh, about five mites. Now, what I see in this hive is, is that they are on the two middle frames. So this seems to be a small hive. Hopefully they'll make it through the winter. Now what we're going to do with these coroplast boards, I will take a scraper or maybe one of these taper uh, pieces of wood and just scrape that off like so. Now we have a nice, fresh, clean coroplast board. So when I vaporize again, then I'll get another count to see where we're at 
when it comes to the mite load. It looks to me so far, the what I've checked, that our mite control is working very well and we have low mites going into the winter. So that's a good thing. So let's go ahead and check a few more. Here's another one. Now this is an old signboard that has red on it, which is a little harder to read. But what I'm seeing is, is uh, about 15 mites that I see on the board itself, maybe up to 20. I'm not being able to catch all of them because of the redness painted on this. It was an old political sign board, one of our for sale signs that we used to use. So not too bad. So we're gonna go ahead today. I'll pull all these sign boards out or coroplast boards. I'll scrape them off clean and I, the weather is about 47, 48 degrees today. The bees have been flying a little bit, not a whole lot, just a few bees out on the front porch, as I call it, flying or hanging outside the hive. So that tells me that the cluster is loose and the oxalic acid will work very good because they're of the cluster being loose. So I will probably go ahead and vaporize them today. So until next time, please like, subscribe, click the notification bell, share my videos with your friends, and have fun with your bees.